No surprise here, folks. Claire Kerr's hands get a win it. She's going to go under 50 seconds. A new high school national record. I hear all the time about high school athletes breaking state records and school records. But what about the American record? Last week, Claire Kazan from Cardinal Gibbons High School in North Carolina broke the overall U.S. record in the 100-yard butterfly with her time of 49.24. They're now calling her the most decorative swimmer in NCHSAA history. I think I'm honored to have that title. I just tried to go and have the most fun that I could throughout high school, and I definitely did. So it's cool to kind of have the accolades, but I'm just glad that I was able to have all the memories and, and keep those for the rest of my life. Claire has already competed on some of the biggest stages in the world, like the Olympics and the short course world championships. But the consistent support from her teammates, her school, and her family convinced her to stay in the high school space. It's hard to explain kind of being at a high school meet unless you're there. Um, I think just the support that Gibbons gave to me throughout my entire career definitely made me want to come back. And then also my favorite part about meets is just looking to the stands or looking into the crowd and seeing just everyone be so interested and so excited about a sport that I love. So I think just the energy that they have there and, and being able to share just swimming with my fellow classmates that I usually never see outside of school. I think that was just so unique that I definitely wanted to continue that. She's now being compared to top swimmers like Maggie McNeil, the defending female NCAA Swimmer of the Year, and says she thinks it's incredible to be considered on the same level as McNeil. I've definitely gotten better with the comparisons. I, I try to shy away from them because you should really celebrate in your own accomplishments. Um, I think it's honestly amazing just to be even like on this, considered on the same level as her because she's such a dominant female butterflyer. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. I mean, I am going to be racing her in the future, so I think it's fun just to be with her now and I'm excited for, for what the future holds. Sometimes when athletes reach the Olympic level, they can become more self-focused, but that hasn't been the case with Claire. She says she sees how hard her teammates go in practice and cheering them on is just another way of showing her love and support. I think I just want to see everyone have the best time of their life. I, I know how hard they train in practice and I love when people just get out and are so excited about dropping a time. Um, so I think if you can put in all the energy that you can cheering them on and they'll know that they're loved and I think that's really special. Um, I don't know. I mean, I try to just hype them up. I mean, sometimes they get nervous and I, I've definitely been there. I got nervous for high school. I, I get nervous for the Olympics. So it doesn't really change no matter what level of sport you're at. Um, but just try to calm them down, make them excited and, and then just have the best race of their life. Claire's high school swim career came to an end last week, but says she couldn't have asked for a better way to end it. I really struggled with it beforehand because I almost didn't want to think that it was ending, um, but I honestly couldn't have asked for a better way to kind of bring a close to it. So I'm super happy just with how that meet went and just being able to share a great meet with my teammates. One thing that was really preached in my high school was you get out what you put in. So if you put your, your heart and soul into the team, you're definitely going to get that out. So I think going to Stanford, I definitely want to be as involved as possible and, and just have the best time with the girls. And then I think I'll just have a little family of my own out there. You can watch more North Carolina high school playoff events live or on demand at the NFHSnetwork.com.